Hey there everybody! Uh, this is, man, the first planner video I filmed in a while. The last time I showed you this, I believe I was showing you the flip through of my setup. Um, that was back in May, uh, before maternity leave. And so basically this planner I moved into is the rings. Uh, I moved into this just before maternity leave and I have been using it since then. So this is, um, I got a month before the baby was born and then eight weeks after. Um, and as of when I'm filming this, uh, it's my first week back at work. So I thought that I would pull out all of the, um, weekly and daily inserts that I used during my maternity leave, as well as a couple other like lists and things. Um, everything else in here I have moved to the sides uh, just so that I have the rings so that I can flip it easily. Um, this is just the dailies and stuff. There's also some project pages I think that may not be in here, but um, I kind of wanted to show you how I ended up using this um, through a period of my life that was different than usual. Um, being at home every day, able to do different kinds of things, um, and sometimes more things, sometimes less things. And then um, it kind of changed a lot depending on like how I was feeling a particular week. After the baby came, I felt like I needed less space, and then I was able to get more um, sort of uh, figured out kind of how to cope a little bit better and was able to do some more things, went back to daily. So I will show you all of that in this flip through. So this page here is my last day at work. So I've got like actual stuff to do, you know. Um, I brought donuts, that was funny. I showed up with donuts for my last day at work and someone had already brought donuts and they brought Krispy Kremes and so mine were kind of sadly um, and underappreciated. But there were some things that I kept in my desk at work that I needed to make sure to bring home, including my work bujo so that I had access to like the logins I needed for my timesheets and all that. Um, this was a day we were out of the house for stuff, so there's not much to do. I didn't even get to change the sheets. Here's my hospital bag checklist. Um, basically, it was just a packing list, and there are videos on my channel about my hospital bag, what I packed, what I ended up using. Um, these are questions for the pre-op visit with the doctor before my C-section. And then um, I decided to sort of color code all of my tasks that I wanted to do during maternity leave because that month, that four weeks that I had before the baby was born, I was really committed to getting a lot of stuff done. And there were a lot of things I wanted to do. One was filming all of the videos that you've been watching for the last three months. Um, so I color coded them based on, I guess, sort of a GTD um, context sort of thing. So at computer was red. Uh, then sewing or crafting was purple. I was going to make a whole bunch of like freezer meals, but I ended up just buying pre-cooked stuff at the grocery store and that was easier. Um, but so that was going to be green. Uh, cleaning and organizing were kind of similar in some ways, but things I wanted to like unpack and get ready in the nursery. All of the, um, the gifts and stuff had to be organized to the nursery and then stuff that needed to just be cleaned around the house and then stuff to delegate. So this is the first weekend, so I wasn't technically on maternity leave yet, or maybe I was, depending on how you count it. Mostly it's just, you know, chores and stuff. But here you see where I have those color codes, and I decided to sort of time block here. Um, and I was doing, yellow was self-care, um, which basically was kind of anything. I don't know why filming a video was considered that, but basically I gave myself some breaks in between because I was definitely trying to nap as much as possible. This is the setup that I was using in my setup flip through video where I have this uh, weekly one page here with a little tracker. This is where I was putting meals and then um, like some tasks for the week and then I have the dailies here. So uh, I was doing kick counts at some point. See here, I, I mentioned the kick counts. Other times I did not, but basically she was pretty active, so I stopped worrying about it. And then um, instead of a water tracker, I use this to track my kegels. Um, and that kind of just, every time I opened my planner, it reminded me to do some, and then I'd do some. <laughs> uh, it was the pre, what's it called? Preterm elections? No, that's not right. <laughs> Mid, no. The elections in the spring. You know the ones I'm talking about, baby brain. Here I was trying to do like one errand a day. Just getting out of the house makes you feel like more of a human. Um, that was fun. We had to do a lot of cleaning and stuff because we had, uh, it was on, was it on Friday? Was it on Monday? Yes, we had the priest come over and bless our house. Um, I'm trying to remember what this was for. I think this might have been 2010s or Pomodoros or some sort of productivity tracking thing. Um, and so here, instead of just 
food. It was like one thing to focus on and then food. I'm trying to do more walking, doing all of my exercises for um, trying to get the baby to flip because she was um, she was breech and that's why we had to have the C-section. Um, my uncle was in the hospital, so we spent a couple days there uh, with him. So these are, this was just sort of, I wrote a couple things like what we were, where we were, not rather than having like a checklist. So because it was a pre-printed daily, most of the page was kind of wasted, but whatever. So here, this isn't meals. This is a focus thing to work on. I kind of stopped putting meals here and just sort of eating what was left over or cooking things on the fly. Um, we go. Yeah, back to color coding, getting really granular about my planning. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, so we went, we saw Solo. We were watching Netflix, trying to get caught up on some Netflix, so that was good. More color coding. This is one of those days that I'm sitting in front of the computer all day. And it was nice getting out all the time. All right, and then the last week, uh, this is here, the 24th through the 1st. So the last week before the baby came, and because it was a scheduled C-section, like I knew when that was going to be. So that was on the 2nd. So I just made a giant list of things and sort of assigned a day to them. Uh, the purple things were projects that had more than one day I needed to work on them. And then the blue things I delegated to my husband. And got everything done. Then, yeah, then these were the actual, like, dailies for that. So here we go. The last weekend before the baby came, I had to make sure to call my grandma for her birthday. And then my parents came up, um, and we went to dinner with them the night before. And then here we go. Monday, we went to church. Then we went to the hospital to check in, and our C-section was at 11. And the only thing I had to do that morning was the disinfectant wipes um, that we had to use, like, before the operation. Then I also had a little bit of a weekly to-do list. Um, this was for things after we got back from the hospital and nothing else really. You'll see suddenly things get a lot more sparse and utilitarian. Um, so obviously I didn't put anything on Tuesday. I was just in the hospital all day. I didn't even pull this out. No, you know what? I did because I had my husband call to get our pump, the, the breast pump. Anyway, uh, we came home on the 4th. Had to make sure that somebody put out the trash bins. Uh, oh, yeah, this is a list of people I wanted to send a picture of the baby to. And then this is the little insert that I put together myself. I made it myself to track the baby's um, diapers and feedings. Uh, sort of, yeah, I mean, we were asked to do that for the first several days. Our first appointment with the doctor was on the 6th here on Friday. And so they were asking to make sure, you know, we got... They, they wanted to know how many diapers and stuff. This here is a log of the pumped milk that was in the fridge and how long it was good for. And then here's a list of questions for the doctor. Here's that appointment and a couple of other things to do. Uh, I don't remember what happened that weekend. Here we go. It's okay. This is still Gina was still home. My husband was home for two weeks after the baby was born. Um, so I guess I, at this point I decided to pull this out and feel like I was, you know, getting something accomplished by writing it all out. Um, we have different people visiting, just sort of notes here that I'm actually using this for a change because if I recall, yes, week after the baby came, I realized that I wasn't using any of these really. Uh, so I decided to just use the one page weekly. So I was using these, um, day thingies. I was actually putting to-do lists on there. You'll see they're checked off. Um, use the tracker and the, the weekly task list. These are the same tracker thingies and milk logs and questions for the doctor because we had another appointment at three weeks. So this was the entire week on one page. And that was, that was good. It made everything accessible and also um, like I didn't feel like I had to fill a whole day's worth um, on a page because there wasn't like that much that I could reasonably get done with a week old baby or two weeks old. So here I filled this one, but you'll notice none of this is checked off because I decided I wanted to expand to a two page spread. So this is a two page weekly that I found. This is also Peanuts Planner Co. It's on the Facebook group. If you go to the, um, the freebies, this is one of the older ones. Um, that's like the no longer supported updated ones. Um, and it printed out kind of brown. Uh, there's something wrong with my printer, but it looks kind of cool anyway. So we've still got the tracker. 
tasks. And then this here uh, was a shopping list this week. We had events, we had a wedding to go to, so much stuff. That was a busy, crazy day. Traffic is no joke. Um, this week I was working on the podcast for my, uh, my Hogwarts. I decided this was like a week before I actually wanted to come back from my like maternity leave on the site. Um, but I still wanted to try to get the podcast done. So I had that on this side as well as a list of phone calls to make general to-do list. Oh, and then, um, I found that I was starting to get a little dehydrated. You have to make sure to keep hydrated when you're breastfeeding. So I made a little hydration tracker on the right here. I just put a little line and then I stopped using it because yeah, this was only, so I did this for one week. The second week I had the weekly and then I decided I wanted to go back to dailies. I was feeling it. I look at this. I even used uh, washi tape and colored pens. I went to target. Uh, we got a new target in our, in our city. And so I made a little shopping list. I was, oh, here trying to sort of keep track of the baby's schedules because I still don't even know. She's not really on one. I'm just trying to make sense of it. And by the end of the day, I cannot remember what we did with large chunks of the afternoon, you know? <laughs> so I was trying to keep track. Uh, let's see. So I went with like a different uh, washi tip every day and I was just having fun with it and trying to decorate a little bit. That was a fun week with the planner. And I did like, it does make you feel like you can be a little bit more productive if you have time to sit down with your planner first, you know? Oh, you know what? This is something on here that we never actually got around to. I got to make a note to do that. Let's see. And then we got back to, this is, uh, let's see. How many weeks was she at this point? I don't even know. Early August, probably like six weeks five weeks. Um, we're back to the, um, the same inserts I was using from before she was born. Felt like I wanted to have those dailies. So I went back to the one week weekly. And this is just sort of like events. Uh, I've stopped doing meal planning really. Um, see, this is, yeah, just pretty much the same. And you'll see I'm, I didn't use any uh, washi tape or anything colorful here, just pretty much using my, um, uh, my one pen. Here's some notes for some grading I was doing. And uh, here we go. Yeah, I, nothing has really changed since, since I started doing that. It's back to sort of normal. And now that I'm, um, back to work, it's the same as well. I'm, I have not been using colors and stuff. Um, just cause I feel like I don't really need to. And I know that that's not what YouTube probably wants, but, uh, yeah, it's working for me and I'm using the tracker and it's all, it's all good. Uh, let's see this here. Oh, this was supposed to be like, uh, oh no, I'm, I think I was sort of logging what I was doing every day. Oh no, this is, you know what this was? This was the day that I tested out. I like test drove my morning routine. I knew that I was going to be going back to work the next week. And so I, um, I got up at like six in the morning to make sure that that was enough time to get uh, out the door. And so I did leave by 745 and it worked. So that's been working. I've just been getting up at six. Um, this one here was actually from like a day or two previous, um, where basically I was like, okay, these are the things I want to get done. Let me just assign sort of an hour to them. And then I checked them off as I got done. And on this side, I wrote what I actually ended up doing that hour, um, you know, based on like, or it just says baby, cause she was being needy. And then it says carrier. I was like, okay, I'll put her in the, the Moby wrap. And then I was able to do the things I wanted to with her there. Cause that works really well. Sometimes she'll usually fall asleep. Um, Oh, these little check boxes were for stretching. My neck started killing me. I think I slept on it funny. So I was um, sort of putting on my schedule to take some Advil for it and do my stretches. And I stopped checking them off after a while. So I don't even know. And here we go. Uh, then that's it. This is Sunday. And then this is the first week I was back to work. Got the people who are taking care of her. And I'm actually, look at that, filming maternity planner today. So that's where we are. Um, I hope that that was interesting. It's uh, been a crazy few months. Thank you guys for sticking around. I'm definitely going to be doing more um, like up-to-date planning videos now that I'm filming like the week before instead of months before. Um, yeah, so I hope you found that interesting or potentially useful. 
Uh, leave comments if you like leaving comments because those make my day. And don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.